How's your mum? Fine. Yes. Is she traumatised? Um... Don't know. I, uh... I don't think so. I was. I feel all, um... Something else now. Exhilarated. Shock, possibly. Can I get you some tea? I think Alison's just made a pot. Oh, how's she? Oh, good. Uh, yes. Thank you. Tea. Ah, thank you. Kate, can I get you one? I should have asked. No, thanks. Um, I rearranged your meeting with the chairman of the Board of Governors at two. Should I see if he's still able to make it? Ah. Uh, Yep, if he's, uh, still available. Have you had any lunch? Nope. Can I get you some? No. Uh, well, maybe. In a bit. You've got a phone call with Alec Bracewell from the Independent Schools Association in ten minutes. They're after you delivering the keynote lecture at the conference in March. You're seeing Cressida Wade's parents at 9.45. Your HOD's meeting is at break. Then you've got the architects in again at 11 o'clock. And then you've got the year reps. Oh, and then first thing after lunch, you're teaching. Good God, am I? Oh, and your stepsister rang on your mobile. Gillian, she said she's sorry to be ringing you when you're working, but can you ring her back ASAP? It's important. Oh, look at her there. Worth the ten times round the pond, was it? <laughs> I am exhausted. <laughs> Shh, don't wake her. You'd better get back. Or you'll be working till midnight again. I'll try to get back early. I promise. You'll be fine. You did really well today. Go on, get out from under my feet. Mm. I'm obviously not fit to look after her. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Let's take this step by step. I tried to abandon her. Don't you understand? Now you'll have to take her away. But you didn't abandon her, though, did you? Come on, Teresa, talk to me. Oh, it's all such a mess. You have had a rough time of things. Anyone would struggle. I can't do it. Please call social services. I'm not sure you really mean that. I mean, you've already changed your mind today. Only because Cal came home. But it's the truth. I. I don't want to look after her. Because of Ruth. I tried so hard to be the perfect mum, but Ruth, she broke my heart so many times. I mean, she's still doing it. Barbara was telling me Michael's been unwell. Yes. He has been rather poorly. Otherwise, he would have been here. I don't know. Why should he change the habit of a lifetime? He would have been here. I'm sorry. It's my default setting where he's concerned. I wish things could have been different. Well, sometimes people are better apart. I meant after we split up. I was so hurt. I wanted to lash out at him. But he wasn't there. So I took it out on his memory. I made Gavin hate the sound of his name. I don't know what to say. How could you? That's why I wanted to see Michael today. To make my peace. Take something like this to make you realize how pointless grudges are. What a waste of everyone's time and energy. Yes, 